Hello, this is Jim. This is just a quick demonstration on how to perform a factory reset on your APU. Um, first you need a paper clip. Um, I'm going to use this little guy that came with one of my cell phones. It's a nice little tool. It's just got a little pokey part on the end. If you have a paper clip, you just unbend it. This just makes it handy because it's got a nice handle on it. Uh, the first thing you do is remove the power from the back. Notice the LED went out. Press this in the hole right here and you'll feel it depress a little bit. Just hold it there and then apply power. And now we just need to wait for the system to boot up, recognize that the button has been pressed, and then reset the configuration. We'll be able to tell this uh, by a set of tones that come out of the unit when it hits the right spot, but it can take you know 30 seconds or a minute. So we just sit here and hold this in. If you have a USB to serial cable, you could reset it that way as well. Um, or you could monitor the output while you try the reset button over the serial cable. Just keep holding it in. In a second, you'll hear the tones. They'll go. Usually, when it boots up, it goes low to high. When it does a reset, it goes high to low and then low to high to indicate that it's rebooting with a factory default config. And there it was. Saw the lights flash and then it gave the the signal that it was shutting down and restarting. And at that point we can take our finger off the button. And uh, we'll then continue to boot. And it, when it comes back up, now you'll hear the tones again to signify that it came all the way back up. And that's it. Now it's factory reset, back to the default configuration. That doesn't remove any package files or anything from the file system. It just takes your configuration itself and reverts it back to the factory defaults. Uh, if you need something more intense, you might have to re-image the, the device. But if you uh, still need help, just contact us for support. Thank you.